Hey, how is everybody? Hopefully you can see my head. I'm going to find out in two seconds because I'm using my camera today. Oops, let me put these out of the way. And let me get on here for you so I can hopefully see comments. Why is it every time I go on, this has the hamster wheel? I mean, seriously. I mean, I go on in two seconds and it's like, oh, 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 yay, there I am, yay. All right, so before I start this project with y'all, I wanted to show you because um, a while back, remember we had painted, or I had painted some bunnies and some chicks. So I wanted to show you the completed project. So they're not going to wait because it's the delay. So what I did, if you guys remember, I painted this. Oh, you know what I should say? It's hi. Did I say hi? Welcome to known as Nutty Crafts. You can see my name down there. You don't need to know who I am, right? Because it's right there. <laughs> but um, I did the bunny. So if you look, I'm going to see if I can get this without a glare. This was done with the Cricut. This is four layers of um, the vinyl. So it, the background is a yellow, then it's like a white, it has a cream and a pink. So, and if you look really close, I'm going to move the bow and see if I can get this so you can see. Because I know with the glare it's hard to see. But in moving the bow, if you look right there where I moved the bow, there's actually a bunny in there. You see the bunny? So isn't that cute? That was the first time I ever did anything with so many layers. So I have this little guy did his eyes also on the Cricut, so, which I really like the expression on him, her. Now this is one I had painted and I didn't have a face originally or anything uh, um, as far as on this bunny, but I used the same eyes that I did on the other one and I put it on this one. Oops. There we go. There's all the comments. Oh, I can see them. Good gosh. Um, so I just wanted to show you that, that something added and this one, I kind of made the nose so it is black in there. Then the reason why I did, you see the big blue dot when doing it, it, it didn't see like this one, his nose or her nose his um, just outlined. I decided to make this nose black so you wouldn't see the blue underneath it. So they came out kind of cute and you can make them all different colors. And then the other one was, if you guys remember the little chick. So chilling with my chicks. So um, I just thought I'd show you this. Now I drew in the extra part of the feet here because it just looks silly as being all one piece. So and then put a little bow on her. Has some carrots and the buffalo plaid on there. So you can make this a sign, a wreath of attachment. Um, if you want to stick it in an Easter basket, you can stick it in there and the chick can be, you know, um, just up at the top, you know, sticking out, which I think would look really cute as well. So I made a couple of these. So if you want any of these, just let me know. This is the only one of the pink one. I can make two more of these. Um, I can put different sayings on them and I do have three of these already made. So if you guys are interested, just pop in a, Hey, Kiernan, I'm interested. All right. So let me just stick those back up right now. So they're out of the way up on the shelf. There we go. So today, something I saw. Now, those of you who may or may not know, my son is getting married next month on the 17th. So we've been crafting little things, you know, for the wedding. So one thing I saw was what they call um, Happy Tears Tissues. So this is what you'll need. Depending how many packs you want to give out, okay, each pack comes with 10 tissues. And usually in the craft that I'm going to do tonight, which is so easy, you guys, I mean, so stinking easy, that you only need one bag, um, and that would give you five packs of tissues. Now, this happened to be a pack, um, there were five packs, in, excuse me, here, and I got them at Tuesday morning for $5.99. I don't need all these, but I can keep them in my pocketbook, you know, somebody always gets a cold or something. Some jute, if you want to use jute, or if you want to use ribbon, totally up to you. I'm going to get my little, my little things out here, my tissues. Now you're going to laugh at this. Toilet paper holder. Didn't think I would be using something like this, but I am. So I have some of those. 
um, your paper and stuff because this is what they're going to look like. Whoops. Isn't that cute? Oh, am I going to peel that off? Oh, my, no, I did. So it's just a little tissue box holder. So we see, just, and you sit these. Now, if you want to hand them out to everybody, you can. Um, or you can just sit these on the chair for the bride's mother and the groom's mother. And this says, for your happy tears. And it has my son and girlfriend, uh, his fiance's name, and the date that they're getting married. Too stinking cute, you guys. So I made two of them, and I used jute around it. Um, around the tub as a bow, but you can use whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you want. So we're going to make some tonight. So how can you do these now? Grant, I did this on my Cricut, but go into your computer, type in whatever you want it to say, and you can print it that way. Some computers will print a light card stock too. Um, each printer is different. So just keep that in, you know, mind. So what I did, I had, because I got my, my toilet paper rollers, and I, all I did was squish them down just like that. See how easy that is? Got my tissues here. Now some of these may have three in there because it's a pack. I'm only doing four of these um, because I didn't have enough of the same paper. And this was paper that, you know, you get the big 12 by 12 sheets from, you know, when you want to do, um, Scrapbooking. Couldn't think of the name. All right. Hi, Sally. How are you doing, my friend? So this is scrapbook paper, and I just cut it down. What I decided to do is when I took this, and this is scrapbook paper, too. See, it has two sides, colors to it. Take whatever you want to use. You can use wrapping paper. And what I did, I just laid it across here. Now you can see I have um, indentations here because this is exactly what I did. I laid it across, folded it, and I'm making it like an envelope. This will go to one side and this comes back like that. You can have it in the center. You can do it however you want. This is just one version, okay? And then I cut it. I kind of measured it and kind of cut it. And that's going to be my base to go on this. Then I took another piece of scrap. Uh, scrapbook paper and I'm going to lay this on top so that way that's how I got all um, this pretty little pretty little design and I did this one because their um, wedding invitations are like magnolia you know kind of style so I thought this would be kind of like magnolia leaves you know for it um, so that's what we're going to lay on top then this is on a not a really thick thing um, card stock and then I just printed this up. It took me a while to figure out I wanted the spacing here so you would see the ribbon and all. But you could do whatever you want. You can make it a heart. You can make it a circle, stars. You can make a tag and have it off. You don't have to have it like the way I'm doing it. But like I said, this is just one way. So let's get to making this. So this is my base, okay? So what I have, this is what people use um, when you're making pictures. And you got to put the mats together. It's a two-sided tape. I've literally had this thing, oh my God, it comes in a bigger roll and I've used it for years, decades, maybe even, um, and it's just a two-sided tape. That's all that it is. So what I did already on these is I put two-sided tape. This is on the green and then across on my flower. You have to do all four sides. Can you use um, hot glue? Yes, you can if you want to um, or if you want to just use this. I chose this because it was just easier than me trying to do hot glue because once you put it down, sometimes it makes it hard to, you know, um, if you make a mistake. So I'm going to peel off without it sticking to me, all four sides. Let's get that going. And this one going. Now you could do these, I hate to say, for funerals. Um, if you want to do it for a funeral, you can do it for, like I'm doing it for a wedding, whatever occasion you want it to be. I cry at everything, y'all. Birthday parties, weddings, baby showers. That's me. Now, because I want this relatively centered, <laughs> so I choose to kind of measure it. I get one side laying down, and then I'll go across and pull it out to the other. Now, I may be off a little bit on the cutting here, which I am. 
right, so I'll just go back and let me use those scissors. And I'll just go back and I'll cut it. Hello, Gary. And I'll just cut it to trim it off. Now, my son has my cutter. Um, so I can't do anything. Oh, okay, Gary, right here. Here we are. Everybody, if you have water, whatever you're drinking, drink it now. Gary said so. And those of you that don't know Gary, he tells us, and he's such a good guy about this, because we always forget the drink and we get so cotton mouth. All right. So that's my one piece. And I chose the green on the background um, to kind of go with the leaves. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> or that would be my rhyme and reason. All right, so I've put the sticky tape again on all four sides here. Now this is gonna be the fun part. I'm sticking this to the toilet paper roll. Luckily I have four white toilet paper rolls. <laughs> There's brown ones, doesn't matter what color. It's whatever you want. So it doesn't matter which side is which. And like I said, I've kind of pre let me turn it this way because of my light. I want to get at least one edge up to the edge of my paper. And I'm trying to, I think this side of my paper is more straighter. So I'm going to stick that side down first. And this is what's good about this. I can peel it off a little bit if it's not quite right. And stick it down. I'll take my one side and just crease it right down and fold it and then we're going to fold this side right over and that's it that's how we're going to make our pocket pretty easy now if you don't have toilet paper rolls you could do the same thing just take paper and fold it let me get rid of these little things off of here all right so now this is the part I chose to use the hot glue gun. Do not gob it in there because it will seep up onto, you know, further up in there. And you want to make sure um, you can get your tissues in there. So, oops, see a little piece that's a little bit too long on this one side. So I can just go ahead and trim it just like that. And then decide which you want to be up, which you want to be down. On this pattern, it doesn't matter. You know? It doesn't matter. Kathy, we are making these. They're called uh, For Your Happy Tears. And this is my son and to be daughter-in-laws for their wedding. So, you know, when you're there and you're crying, you know, because you're just so happy. So you put tissues in here. And you can just either give it to them or, like I said, put them on the chairs at the wedding or a funeral or whatever happy occasion it may be. And you can make these for everybody. I'm just doing a few just for um, some of the, uh, well, like I'm going to have one because I always cry, like I said. And, oops, oh, a little piece. Why is my glue all the way over there? See the little side here, so let me just trim that off. There we go. So decide, and I always look if I got it off a little bit on an angle, which if I want that at the bottom or the top, and I'm just gonna put a really thin line of glue. Like I said, you don't want to glob it in there because it's gonna feed up onto the tissues area. And then I'm just going to squeeze it. And I'm going to squeeze from inside going out. And what I do, any glue that's right here, I just take my finger, or you can use your happy fingers. And you're just going to go ahead and press it until it's glued. Oh, I am! I am. How are you? From Mindy. <laughs> I know they're in the drawer because this uh, there's not a lot of hot glue with this. Yeah, 
Yes, please, definitely. I love having people come on. Isn't that cute? So now that's flat. I wait to put the, uh, that's glued. I wait to put this on because I want to make sure it's in the center. So I think I have one already taped. All right, and I'm going to go through a whole step with one that um, isn't taped or anything so you can see. I try to kind of have one done so I can do one quick with you and then I'll do, I'm going to do another one with you. That isn't all pre-done, as they say. Yeah, hey guys, on the bottom you'll see my stars. And what the stars are, anything um, you're willing to donate, it goes to the uh, Wounded Warriors Project. We're being military, you know, retired and all. We love to donate back into the military. Um, that's just our thing. Everybody has something. I mean, I volunteer with the do uh, dog rescue and... Gosh, I'm all over the place. All right, so... I just put it flat. I look at, you know, kind of measuring the top and bottom where it needs to be centered and side to side. And then I just press and pray I get it right. And see? Voila. We have a little, oops, we have a little, a little pocket is what it is. Now the next thing I'm going to do. I like to put my tissues in. Does it matter? No. These are cute. Her wedding, it, she doesn't really have a wedding theme. The invitations seem to be like magnolias. And then she has roses mixed with some white flowers. But on the tablecloth, she's having a navy blue um, napkin. And if I recall right, the way they're going to do it is the napkin lays flat and drapes down and the plates on top, which I think is kind of cool. Just something different. And you see there's blue in there, so I thought these were kind of cute. You know, little flower, you know, kind of things. So this one, oh, one of these. I have two of these that have three in them, um, just because I have extra. Like I said, these are a pack of ten. So I wanted to do this just to make it kind of cute. So the tissues go in there, just like that. Hello, Christina. Isn't it a good place for them in the drawer? <laughs> so I count, I took jute and I cut this at 15 inches long. You can make it longer. You can do it however you want. Um, this is, you know, it's just going to make a little bow like that. And again, you can use ribbon. I debated about using a colored ribbon and I thought of the navy blue, but navy blue can sometimes go blue, blue, like in a gray blue, you know, and I just said, you know what, jute would look pretty because we're doing um, cork, um, what do you call it, place card holders. So I thought the jute, you know, kind of, I don't know, leads to the wine kind of thing. So that's why I did that. So I'm going to tie these off. Oopsie. It, it's a cute little idea. You know, it's so funny when your kids are getting married, especially now having so much with like Pinterest and Etsy and Google things and all. Um, you, there's so many ideas out there. So look, isn't that cute? So now I got three made. So let's do this one. So this one I did put the tape on here, but I didn't do anything on here yet. This is the part that's going to go on, of course, the toilet paper holder. I, you know, he doesn't know I'm doing this. Um, I keep debating, should I tell them? Should I not tell them? Or should I just put it down? I'll probably wind up telling them because I can't keep a secret like this. <laughs> so, like I said, this is two-sided tape. Oops, not those scissors. And I'm just cutting it off. I'm leaving the brown part on, which is the side to keep the other side from sticking to me. Till I get it all done. And I go a little bit back from the edge, just a little bit, just because um, that way it doesn't seep over. It's a two-sided tape. Now, I use this for when I do um, matting you know, for picture frames, um, or if your picture is going to stick on to, you know, the back of a matting, that's what this is. But you can find this 
Um, if you go to any place that sells frames, you know, like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and just ask them, you want two-sided tape, and that's all it is. So it's it's like a, I don't know, plastic on the one side, and the other, when I peel this off, or peel this back, then it's just like tape, and it's really sticky. So it's similar to scotch tape, but different. Does that make sense? Um but like I said, I've had it for years, but you can go and find this. Ooh. Gotta get this. Just make sure I got all the comments. Here we go. Yeah, and I, like I said, I cry at everything. So I still remember even my wedding, I was crying up at the altar. <laughs> and we had tissues, but we left them in the limousine. So I was like talking back to my mom, like, mom, like, and she's like, oh. so the, our best man happened, happened to have a handkerchief. <laughs> so we borrowed his handkerchief and I was like, do you want it back? And he's like, no, you can keep it. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, so again, I cut this. Now this, again, you could do it as you want. This is a little over 16 and a half inches, um, 16 and a half six and a half inches it's about six and three fourths and that would be the same for this this i made four inches wide and this one is just a little over three inches so you can it depends how much you want of the underside to show if you want it just with this and putting this on it you know like you could do it however you want it just be creative and have fun with it that's what i say all right so I did have the tape on this. I thought I didn't. But we'll peel it anyway. Off. And if you can see, it looks a little shiny because now this is the sticky side up here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, sometimes you get a, get a glare from things here. Yeah, you can see it. So now we're just going to stick this. Now again, I have pre-folded some of these, so I'm going to make sure I lined it up with what I pre-folded here before. And I'm just going to kind of center it. Place one side down, and I just walk it across. And like I said, you can see I, I was off a little bit here. No big deal. Let me put these scissors. These are my good, good ribbon cutter scissors. Don't want to get sticky tape on them. All right. Well, up. So now we got that down. Let's get these out of the way. Um, I got the napkins. I just happened to walk into a store today called Tuesday morning and I wasn't specifically looking for them. Um, where can you find a lot of these? Probably maybe like a Walgreens CBS Rite Aid might have some little tissue napkins. Sometimes they just have it up at the counters or you can ask. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond used to carry them. Um, I don't know what all the stores still do with the whole COVID virus thing. But uh, these were, I got five packs for $5.99. And each pack has 10 tissues in it. So I have a lot of tissues. <laughs> all right. So here's my toilet paper roll. Kathy, you are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the stars. Yay. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Toilet paper holder. Roller. Right? I just squished it down. That's all I did. And now we're going to peel this off. Do, do, do. Peel it off with it up sticking to me. And it's just like a, I don't know, it's gummy. If it sticks to you, it just rolls right off. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? You remember back in the day, rubber cement, you would go in school, you get the bottle, and it would have the little brush, and you would brush it on. And you remember how tacky it would be, but it rolls right off your finger, not like Elma's glue where you have to peel it. That's what it reminds me of. It's sticking to me. Hello, Miss Patricia from Texas. You too, Gary. Happy Easter to you too as well. Yeah, Easter's coming up. Good God, we're all around into April. 
All right. And I had pre-folded this. The reason why I pre-folded it was because I had one sheet of paper. And as I was cutting them, I wanted to make sure I had enough for each to make at least four um, of them. I had a fifth one to do, but like I said, I ran out of the one paper. So I'm not doing five, but I think four is enough. This is going to be a small wedding. There is no bridesmaids. There's no ushers in it. This whole coronavirus thing. Cassidy's going to be the flower girl. My other granddaughter is going to be the ring bearer. And I made the pillow for that. Um, I cross stitch and I, you know, I had blue, different colored blues, flowers, and uh, I made a pillow for that. These are just going to sit. I'm just probably just going to sit it on the chairs. I know. As far as our family goes, it's just going to be my immediate, my daughters, our husbands, and stuff like that. And um, as far as aunts and uncles on our side, no. Most of the ones I well, grew up with, my kids know, they've passed on to the other side. <laughs> um, and most of our friends or family now is really in the military. Um, but because of the whole restrictions, we can't have a lot of people. So they're doing a virtual. So hopefully... You know, the other families and friends can watch on the virtual. On uh, her side of the family, it's just her mother and two brothers and her grandpa, grandparents, and a f I think a couple, a few of the aunts, maybe uncles or cousins or somebody are coming. So we're literally, it's only going to be like maybe 25, 30 people at the entire wedding. And there's a few of their friends. But that's it because of the whole virus. Um, my volume is up as, as loud as it goes. The paper um, that I was using, this is just scrapbook paper. You know, if you go and you do scrapbooks, um, or you can just buy the sheets. If you go into Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you know how they have the sheets. You can buy whatever, and you can do it on that. Um, but sorry, Patricia, I can't make it go any louder. And I think I'm talking loud, too. Whoops. Look, I stuck this to the bottom. wasn't paying attention. All right, so let's stick it to, let's stick it to this. So again, I'm just going to map it off to one side being as close and equal to the bottom as I can. Fold it over. Crease it. And then bring the other side back over. And like I said, again, you can have this in the middle um, if you want. Now, for whatever reason, this, let me see how much is sticking out. Okay. For whatever reason, this toilet paper roller seems to be a little smaller than the others. So I had that tape, the two-sided tape up there. So what I'm just going to do is just kind of roll it off where it ended, where the toilet paper roll ended. That's kind of weird, but why would it be smaller? Who knows? You know, it's like even with, you get the mini popcorn bags, like it's supposed to be a mini bag. And you go now, and it's even smaller than a mini bag. And it's like, what's up with that? <laughs> so that's all I'm doing is whatever is sticking out, I'm just running my finger on it. Okay. Now, because it is, <laughs> that's just so weird that that was shorter. I'm flat here, and I have the difference of sizes in here. So I'm going to make this my bottom side, if that makes sense to y'all. And just a little bit of glue. Now, if you find some other type of glue that works better for you, that's fine. And I'm pressing from the inside out. So as it squeezes out, then I can just wipe it off. So it doesn't, it's not too hot. I thought about doing the two-sided tape in there, but I don't need it as thick as this would be. I would need probably like half of that. You're welcome. All right. So now we have that one done. Take our tissues, and I'm putting the blue flowers so that you, they can see them first. Look at right in there. If you put three tissues in there, 
like I have on this one. The tissues, I think, come up a little bit higher. Well, not too bad, I guess. I could put more in there. I could put three. I could open them up and put three in there. I could do whatever I want, right? All right, so let's put some sticky stuff on here. And that's what's nice about being creative on things. You can do whatever you want. So, whoops. I'm going to run this right to the edge. So I cut this one a little short, but we can add. We can add. I'll cut it short on the other side, and then um, I'll run it straight across from the other way. <laughs> you can cut it even shorter. Even shorter. All right, here we go. And let's just run this piece right here. I'm going close to the edge. Again, I don't want to go over the edge because the sticky stuff will kind of pop out. Looking for something to make. Oh, Kathy, let me tell you what else we're doing. Um, my son, I laugh at my son on this one. Back when well, they got engaged in July last year, July 4th to be exact. And I jokingly sent him a picture of, um, what do you call it, uh, sanitizers. So they've actually got the, they bought hand sanitizer and these little bottles and they filled up all the little bottles and we're doing the same thing. You know, it's a, you can print it out there, do it on your own and you just print it on sticky, like Avery, you know, when you go to the post office, the, um, not post office, like mailing labels, like the little ones, like name tags, things, um, and you can do that, um, or you can design your own or whatever. She had designed her own, um, what do you call it, imitations. So they're synapsing those pictures out and just scaling it down. Um, and they put in, like, thank yous on that. So they're doing the hand sanitizers. We're doing skeleton keys. And at the other end of the skeleton keys is actually a bottle opener, which is kind of cool, something excuse me, different. And the skeleton keys, the head part, have all different. Now, instead of putting a, a ribbon, which I would like to do, my son wanted the keychain, like a dog tag kind of keychain holder on it. And then I did a little heart, and it's like, uh, what are, oh, God, I, it was like a couple of months ago. It's like, thank you for coming, you know, and or sharing this happy moment with us or something. It said it has their names and the date. And, you know, just like a tag and we're threading it through and that's going to be a thank you. So we got the hand sanitizers, we got the keychains, and we're doing, um, or she's doing scratch off tickets. Something different. And she got, not, it doesn't look like this per se, but it's a little flat, like you put a card in, um, little brown bag, and she's going to have a sticker on the front. You know, saying thank you. And everybody at their plates is going to have that. Um, which is something cool and something different than, you know, everybody, you know, you can get the candles and things like that. The other thing we're doing for place card holders, um, pretend this is a cork like this. And this is like a business card. We're putting them in here like this. Um, so the cork will stand, you know, flat on the table in the business card not business card, place card with the person's name and table number or whatever will be like that. And then on the top, just glued onto the top, you could put a flower, a couple of flowers, you know, whatever. So we thought that was something different um, to do. So we're just having fun making things. I did all the flowers for the archway, um, where they'll, which will be a backdrop to the, um, when they get married. So I did a like what would be like an L big thing of flowers and then another shorter one. Um, that, what else did we do? Oh, hearts in a box. It's like a piggy bank glass and we have hearts on the table and you get to write on the heart a well wish and then put it in the little bank for them. So there's gonna, there's a lot you can do. I mean, my other daughter's weddings, we kind of did the same thing. Like in my day where you had money bags, you, if somebody wanted to give a gift, it would be on a table. But you used to go around, now I'm from New York, and you used to go around with a money bag. And if somebody gave you an envelope, that was kind of the tradition, you'd give them something in return. And we had little flowers with a tag with our names on it. So nowadays, a lot of kids don't do that, you know, traditional stuff like we used to. So you have a gift table. 
So my one daughter's gift table, we took um, round paper mache boxes that look like hat boxes. I think we did, I know at least two, I think is what we did. And we covered it in fabric, decorated hers was the beach thing. So we cut a slit in the top. We got, a, got an envelope and figured out roughly how big it had to be. Cut a slit, covered it all, put ribbon on it, little pearls and all these seashells on it. And we made our own. Um, she also did the invitations. We printed it off. You can buy like at some of your party stores pre-made invitations and you just fill it in. You know, the blanks kind of like thing. Um, that way too. Oops, there goes my dog. Somebody's outside. Um, there's so many different things you can do. You know, we had the archway they walked under, so we had flowers with the tool and the lights and stuff too. All right, so now we got that. So we could stick our tissues in there. And then again, I cut my string at 15 inches. But you can do it any size you want. Use ribbon, like I said. I hope they like these. Or I should just put them on the chair and just say, whoops, surprise. <laughs> and you just tie your bow. And again, if you didn't do the words here, here's where you can put a tag, you know, on it, whether it's a heart, a star, or whatever you want it to be, and you can tie it that way. Hello, Miss Janet. How are you? All right, oops. And I, look at me, y'all notice how I do this? I don't do the one rabbit ear, twirl it around. I could never do that. So I still remember when I was in kindergarten, we did the two rabbit ears. That's how I learned to tie my shoe. And that's how I still tie my shoe to this day. And then you just pull your bow. Gotta make that loop a little bit bigger. Here we go. And I'll twist it. Or I like I like it all kind of craziness. But there's our little bow. Now, if you I'm not worried about the ribbon coming off, but if you are, you can put a little tack of glue. I'll probably do that. I just put a little tack of glue on the back, just to hold it so it doesn't slip down. one I didn't do that tacky stuff on the side here. So I'm just going to stick some hot glue there. There we go. Just a little dab of glue will do ya. And I'm talking a dab. All right, I'm gonna put my dabs of glue and things gotta dry. So it doesn't stick to my table. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're for my son's wedding. The, um, he's getting married in July, uh, July, August 17th. So, for, and what these are, they're, it says for your happy tears. And it has their names and it, their tissues. Just stick them in. Just like that. And you can put it on the chairs for the mom or the bride, the groom's mom, and that they're just there. The grand grandparents. So I like I said, I only made four of them. Oops, he got stuck to my table. Um, because it's only me on one side, her mother, her grandparents. And I don't know who I'm gonna do put the other one out for. You know, I don't, I don't know, it could be my, my daughter's or something. Isn't that cute? So, again, you can use them for baby showers, you can use them for funerals, you know, whatever you want to use them for. And you can change it up. You know, somebody, you know, uh, um, one of the things I saw, I just saw just before I came on, and they did for a wedding, um, it says for that, you know, late night or next day, like a hangover, they had the little water bottles. They had a little tag saying that, and underneath the tag they had like two Advil or two Excedrins. Like, and I thought, okay, we can't give out drugs on the wedding, <laughs> although it's a cute idea. 
<laughs> I don't know, unless they're prepackaged some way. Um, okay, Karen. Okay, okay. Here we go. Mm. Sally, I'm only making four. I have another white one, but I didn't have enough paper to make a fifth one. So I only made four of them. That, so that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing it for everybody in the wedding because I, I don't know how many females there are coming. But I just figured like for me, the mother-in-law, I guess, and the grandparents. And, you know, I have to find out once. Oh, I know my friend Mary Jo will cry because she cries at everything. So I'll probably give her one. Um, it's not to be selective, but I would have done more. Um, but I didn't. God, I got glue string. Um but I didn't have enough of the paper. Now I can mix it up and do, you know, some other things with it, you know, and have a variety. It doesn't all have to be the same. Um, and yeah, if you guys notice with the stars for the Wounded Warrior Project, when I reach my goal, there's a, there's a nice, happy something for you. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I think they will. I haven't proposed this to them. I, I saw it the other day. My son and I were researching on Pinterest and doing things. And um, well, I said, I got another project. Oh, this is my other project. And I got another project I want to do with you guys. So I may stop this and come back on. So I already have this pre-cut to do with you guys. Um, and I saw this and I didn't say anything to them. I think I like it with three tissues in it. It makes it more fuller. Because this looks like these come out really easy. These would be a little bit tighter. And I didn't, I was going to do, let me tell you, I was going to do it, just do something around this. Like a little, you know, band around this and do a nice thing. But then I thought, they're going to have to take that off. Worry about opening it up when you're sitting there and you're going to hear, you know, all this rattling. And then what are they going to do with the paper? And that's why I was like, there's got to be something I could do. And that's where I found, you know, this idea. And I just took it. If you need gold bells. <laughs> you know what I got? This is what I did. Um, I went ahead and I bought two cowbells. He doesn't know. They don't know this. I hope my, nobody, my daughters aren't watching. If you are, girls, don't say a word. And they say, ring for a kiss on the two cowbells. So, I mean, you know, a cowbell's a cowbell. But yeah, Janet, I could use little ones. I could put those on the tickets. I could do all kinds of things that they don't know. About. And um, I figured I'm going to put those on the two main tables like mine and his mom, her mom's. And then I'm going to say, you got to pass the cowbell around. I'm going to put a little ribbon on it with a tag and say, ring for the, you know, this is to ring. I mean, I think they can read it. But please pass, you know, around the table and pass it on to the next table. Instead of clanging on the glasses like everybody does. And sometimes, they, you know, people do have the bells. And I thought, I found these two cowbells. And I said, man, those are going to be loud. <laughs> you paid post-its and I would send it to you. Janet, I'll talk to you after we get off. Um, I think they'll love these. I think these are cute. But I think I will put it, three tissues in all of them. Now, usually these have a little thing you can just open one side. Oh, here it is. Isn't this it? Yeah. So you can see, they could have done this, and I could have left it like this, and they could have opened it, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, these were just something handmade. I'm all about crafts, y'all. Did y'all know that? <laughs> Oops. So there we go. Oopsie, get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, let me put these on. I think three would be good. Now, the only thing I don't have for them is something to put it in after they've used it. Oh, well. Can't think of everything for everybody. So I think those are cute. And it has the little leaves stick out. And I think it would be good to go. They're going to be... Pucket... <laughs> I've never seen tissues like that either. Need a shabby chick idea. There you go. Um, it, it, I've seen back in the day, or whatever you want to call it, they used to have them with different sayings on them. And I always used to put it in the kids' stockings at Christmas time. 
because everybody always gets a cold somewhere along the way or you need a tissue to wipe somebody's hands or whatever it may be. So, but I just thought these are cute. And this, you know, whether or not they keep the container it comes in or if they want to, they can stick it in a scrapbook and keep it as a nice memento kind of thing. But I just thought, cute little idea. So that's my idea for the day on that. <laughs> so... I hope you guys liked it. It was something different. Let me close those up before I stab myself. And what I'll do, guys, give me like about, let's say it's 7.30 my time. So 8 o'clock. Because what I'll do is i got to bring up my computer and stuff. And because the next project, so you can see better than, well, actually the front is good. Thank you. So. So, Kathy, now, y'all, if you hit anywhere on this page, those three little white buttons pop up at the top and hit notifications so that you can get notified when I go live. Now, I came on as a pop-up. I've been doing a lot of pop-ups lately, the notifications, because it all depends sometimes what's going on in the household. And, um, you know, when the dogs are going crazy, husband's going crazy, I'm going crazy, <laughs> you know, and it's just like nothing ever seems to go right <laughs> one of those days. Um, but, um... It's a great idea. Kathy, go ahead and you can, uh, you know, listen, I don't trade the markets or anything. So go ahead and take this and use this idea for your wedding, your your daughter's wedding. Um, but anyway, um, so I, I do pop ons for that reason. Facebook is not very good about sending out notifications sometimes. But at least you'll know when I go on by having the notifications. And you can always go to replay. You can always, uh, you know, as they always say, bless my page float my boat, sprinkle the love, and you can save it so that when you want to look at this again, you'll have it there too. All right. So give me um, a half an hour so I can get, um, well, actually I can go on. Give me 15 minutes. All right. I'll come back on in about 15 minutes and we'll do the other project I have here waiting to do with you guys. All right. So I'll see you in a few minutes. And thanks for coming to Nona's Nutty Crafts. Bye-bye.